Hello there, Pascal Indy here from Firepress, co-founder here. So in step four, uh, we will actually make sure that our content, our post, is easily searchable by Google, Yahoo, and the gang. So you'll see the tool is very well made and it's gonna be fairly quick to do so. We're gonna publish this guy for real. Uh, we previously on step three um, edit and format this post, our first post. And now we need to go a little bit deeper to make sure uh, Google can find us. We go here in the post settings, we already set uh, this image. If we ever uh, don't like it, very obvious, we can click on this, delete it and drag another one on it. Very cool. If you want to change your date, um, you cannot click on this calendar, it will not do anything, but um, let's say you wrote it like a month ago and you want to publish it today, you can change the date and the, the time, no problem. Tag, we're gonna see that later. Author, right now, I'm the only one author of this site, okay? So you can change the author, but automatically it's gonna be you by default. And then the metadata, very important. So two main things, very easy. And the title is always the title. So let's copy paste this guy. Boom. And the meta description, think about exactly what people's gonna see on Google. So sometimes it's not necessarily the, um, the first text. So think about, make it appealing. This is your job as, your, as an editor. Uh, this is not about a tool, but really about thinking about what is relevant for your readers. So in this case, I like it. And I like to copy paste from the right side because sometimes, you know, I'm gonna have stuff like that. So if I copy paste this, I'm gonna copy paste the actual star here, right? And it's, it's gonna be bad. Let's, let's try it. Like that. And you see the preview, there's the star here. So this is not a good idea here to put markdown. Markdown is not translated. You need to put like pure, uh, pure English text if you want. So I'm gonna use this like that, like that. Okay, all that. Let's copy paste in your metadata like that. And you see a warning because, oh, there's too much characters, okay? So you should listen to uh, Google's recommendation on that. So delete and make it about 156. Okay, and it says no longer than 200. Very good. And this is how it looks. Very nice. You can just click elsewhere on this arrow, but I like to click elsewhere. Publish, update post, and it rocks. Let's, let's see that. Very cool. Okay, so now, um, while we are here, what if we want to change this uh, post by another one? Something like, it's not published your first post, now it's hello world. Hello world, right? Save. And if I refresh, good, it works. But we can kind of have an issue here and it's because the, now the link is not, I would say, matching with the title and it should, really it should. And I do that all the time. I start something, I change my mind like 10 times and finally I say, okay, this is gonna be the title. So to make sure that the uh, URL is this title, we need to change it manually. So let's copy paste that. I'm gonna use my shortcut. And here you can double click on that, delete and paste that. And of course you don't want to use any kind of weird characters. So let's delete this exclamation. And if I click elsewhere like that, you see it was formatted automatically like that. Very cool. Let's save. 
and let's refresh and boom an error and of course it is expected because now the link is not existing this link is not existing anymore okay so let's go back to the to, to your blog right so news like that and now this post is the real one you see the url is now matching the title and life is good very cool Eventually, when you have many, many posts, maybe you want to have a post always on the top. Sorry, let me go back. Yeah. Right here. If you have many posts, now I only have two, you can say this one will be always on the top. This is the option you need. And here is how we can turn uh, a post into a page. We're gonna see the definition, okay? What's the difference between a post and a page? A bit later but for now I really want to stop this tape and look at you to say wow you did a good job at this point all right so just like I told you uh, very easy to come in sense you need to work on that right now we only have one post but when you have 20 40 50 you need to actually think about you're gonna put your stuff together I'm gonna help you to do this in the future lessons so thanks for watching and see you later.